Hi, my name is Mark Folia. I'm with Enviz Incorporated. We're based out of Reston, Virginia, and we're here at ITSIC 2012 in Orlando, Florida. And I'd like to walk you through some of the products we have at our booth. And our, our main core business is making near-to-eye display systems like head-mounted displays, handheld displays, other simulated military devices. So what you're looking at right here is an Envisor ST50. This is a head-mounted display we make. It's actually uh, a combination of a, a fully immersive system and an augmented reality see-through system where you can see right there, you can actually uh, see the display inside the optics and I'll get to more about why we designed it that way in a moment. But this product right now was developed, um, went into production in May of 2011. We developed this um, f under a phase two SBIR contract for the U.S. Army. Actually, the RDECOM group right here in Orlando, Florida funded this project for some dismounted soldier training initiatives in the U.S. Army. And they were looking for a lightweight, high resolution, see-through capable system to support their program. And um, this project was awarded, I think, back in around uh, 2009. And two-year project, we finished it up in 2011. And now it's actually a major product for us. Uh, so the SBIR program um, basically gave us the ability and the funding to go ahead and uh, provide this product, uh, you know, add it to our product line. Now we want to go ahead and show you what's happening on this simulator right over here. If you look at the screen, what I have over here is um, a helicopter interior. And this is actually, a, a, I would say this demonstration was made for a trade show more than necessarily reflecting a real world application. What you would see in a see-through application like this, um, some, some, some uh, users would actually have a physical cockpit. What you see here, they would actually have that for real in front of them, sitting down at a real cockpit instead of um, a virtual cockpit here. But then when they look up out these windows, you see these windows on, on, on the helicopter, we would actually paint a virtual image that would be displayed in the head-mounted display. So that they call out-the-window simulation. That's um, a very well-accepted, common form of uh, use of a head-mounted display, a see-through head-mounted display. There's other, there's other uh, examples of that in the industry. Um, but what we're showing here, since we don't have a real helicopter cockpit to show you, we decided to take this uh, model, and if the user puts this on, which I'll do right now, just tighten this down. And I actually get a stereoscopic 3D view of what you see on the monitor right there, where it feels like I can actually reach out and place my hands right on these components. But the important thing here is, as I'm looking down, I see a bright, nice bright image, sharp, high resolution image of the cockpit. It feels like I can see the cockpit, I see the control um, to, 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 guide, to guide the helicopter. But when I look up to where those windows are, I see the trade show. I can see the cameraman taking a picture of me, and I can see that my colleagues around me, and I can see the whole trade show. Just with a, you can imagine about uh, like you're wearing sunglasses. So you have a pretty good uh, visibility of the whole physical environment, and I also have a good, and I see the virtual model. So flip this around, I'm flying a helicopter, operating real controls, looking out the window, seeing a collimated image focused at infinity. I get a pretty uh, compelling simulation for um, a flight simulator or a helicopter simulator.